the millionaire lifestyle of Layla Fernandez. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to our channel, Sports Stars. Today, I will be surprising you by giving you some mind-boggling facts about the lifestyle of Layla Fernandez. No one lit up the New York crowds this year quite like Layla Fernandez did. It all began with a stunning upset of Naomi Osaka in the third round, then Angelique Kirby, then Elena Svitolina, then Arena Sabalenka. Suddenly, the Canadian teenager was in her first Grand Slam final, and all along the way, her fans were right there with her. Although she would fall to 18-year-old Emma Raducanu in the first all-teenager final at the major since Serena Williams beat Martina Hingis in the 1999 US Open final, the 19-year-old Fernanda still had an absolutely historic two weeks in Flushing Meadows. Before we dive further, subscribe to Sports Stars for more such videos. So without any further ado, let's proceed and dive into her lifestyle. There isn't much revealed about the new star player's lifestyle, but let's have a look at her life and earnings. Leila Fernandez is quickly becoming the face of Canadian tennis as the teenager is gaining new fans with every tournament performance she has on the WTA Tour. Leila was born on the 6th of September 2002 in Montreal, Canada and is a left-handed player using a two-handed backhand. Layla Fernandez can officially say she feels like a million bucks as the 19-year-old Canadian picked up $1,250,000 US worth of prize money for her US Open finalist performance. Her father, George, is a former professional footballer of Ecuadorian descent, while her mother, Irene, was born to parents from the Philippines. The second born of three children, Layla competes under the Canadian flag and speaks English, French, and Spanish fluently. Growing up, Fernandez was a natural sports type. She played football, volleyball, and often competed in track and field. Ultimately, though, it was tennis that stole her heart. For hours, she would practice hitting her shots against the basement wall. After being cut from the provincial development program in partnership with Tennis Canada at a young age, George, Fernandez's father, adopted the role of coach despite never having played tennis himself. For those that follow tennis closely, Fernandez may not be the upstart that she first might appear to be. After turning professional at 17, it wasn't long before the tennis team began encountering tournament success. In 2019, the Canadian not only won her first professional singles title at the Gatineau Challenger, but also became a junior Grand Slam champion at the French Open. She defeated Emma Navarro in the final 6-3, 6-2 signaling her potential. Fernandez then went on to qualify for her maiden Grand Slam at the 2020 Australian Open. While she was eliminated in the opening round, the following week she defeated the then world number no. 5 and later Tokyo 2020 gold medalist Belinda Bencic in the qualifying round of the Fed Cup. Later in the year, she also appeared at the French Open and US Open. In Paris, she made it to the third round, while in New York she got as far as the second. After falling short of the first WTA singles title at the Mexican Open back in 2020, Fernandez finally sealed the deal earlier this year in March when she defeated Victoria Globich at the Monterey Open. Her career-high singles rank is 66 as of June 14, 2021. The Canadian entered the 2021 US Open ranked number 73. Standing at just 5'5", five five, Fernandez is on the shorter side of most professional tennis players. Learning how to work with her frame to neutralize the strength and power of those much taller than her became a big part of her development. As the Canadian's love of tennis grew, she discovered tennis legend Justine Heinen and began studying the Swiss player through videos on YouTube. During her prime, Heinen spent 117 weeks as the number one ranked player in the world and scooped up a total of seven Grand Slam titles. Speaking to CBC on her admiration for Heinen, Fernanda said, She's not the biggest player nor the strongest player, but she always found a solution playing against bigger players. She had the talent, great hands, slice and drop shots to open up the court where not many could. And that inspired me that I could do it too. And I want to inspire other kids to believe they can do it too. It is not just Heinen that has Fernandez's respect and attention. Sports giants outside of the world of tennis are also a source of inspiration for the young talent. Lionel Messi, Sidney Crosby, Wayne Gretzky, and Isaiah Thomas are just a handful of names Fernandez spends time learning from. 
The idea behind studying icons who compete outside of her discipline is one that comes from her father, the Canadian explained to ITF. My father and coach, George Fernandez, insists I study players from different sports in order to understand that my stature is perfect for my personality and skills. I look into their creativity, uniqueness, use of angles, speed, aggressive defense, and fluidity of their movements. So this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you enjoyed our video and found this content to be pretty interesting. What are your views over the lifestyle of Layla? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, do check out our page, Sports Stars, for more such videos, and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed it. Thank you!